So very excited. Today I'm doing the second stage of ear reconstruction and the patient's missing, I think it's a left ear. It's missing the top, I would say like, uh, you know, one quarter of the ear and that was from a human bite injury. So I raised the flap in the back and I put it back down just for collateral circulation to develop. And now I'm going to raise it from behind, lift it up, put cartilage inside to give it some shape and cover it with that flap. That's the plan. And the cartilage will come from the concha to have a nice curve hopefully and try to match it as much as possible let's keep our fingers crossed and get started okay so let's start doing our markings which are very important and come on close so I'll show you so this is where the ear is missing and in the back you can see the incision line it was cut all the way till here and here as well and that was to get the circulation going in here the collateral and now we are safe raising this flap now I want to get a, some good shape to the ear. So here's what we're doing. We are going to draw the ear. And this tells us exactly what we are up against right there. So if you do this, I think we'll be in good shape. So now I'm going to cut it, place it in there and get exact cartilage from there. So good. Okay, so this goes in right in here. if I can get it right inside, right there. So it fits the concha very well. Right there. Wonderful, so you marked it, perfect, good. Okay, so the first step is to harvest the cartilage that we'll use for the scaffolding. So let's get started with that. It'll be coming from the concha and we have done the measurements already as we saw. So let's get started.
Okay, so we are all done. As you saw, it is challenging. You have to be precise and uh, can't afford any mistakes. So let's take a look and we'll go over everything we did. So the first step was to harvest from here. We had marked the area and it was roughly around like 2.5 to 3 centimeter by 1.5 centimeters. So we got the cartilage here. Then we had to raise. So this is right where we raised it. Now, if you just cut the flap and do it, it might not have enough circulation. So we use the collateral, uh, del we delayed the flap to get more collateral. So the delay really helped because this flap is going to be much better. We elevated it, we put the cartilage underneath it, we stitched it to the existing scar tissue and cartilage, and then we covered it up, and there we are. So this flap still has good capillary refill, and we'll have to keep a very close eye on it, and that's what we'll do. Fantastic. This area here is going to granulate on its own. We don't need to do anything. It's going to granulate over time and it'll be just fine. Okay, so very excited because now we are done and the ear finally has a shape. And we have to just keep our fingers crossed to make sure the flap does really well. So far, it's doing excellent. So we'll put a very gentle dressing on and take it down tomorrow and see how it looks. So far, so good. Look at that. That is an ear. Yahoo! I'm excited. <laughs>